people that won't go back in this building. God. We thank you for your mercy, God. We thank you for your kindness, God. We thank you for your grace, God. If it had not been for you, Lord, uh, who was on our side, uh, we don't know where we would be, God. Uh, we would be lost, God. Uh, we would be without direction, God. Uh, we would be without guidance. Uh, but your grace and your mercy, uh, it has us here today. Uh, and we came to give you glory. Uh, and we came to give you honor, God. Uh, Lift up your heads, O ye gates. And be ye lifted up, the everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord God, strong and mighty. The Lord God, mighty in battle. All right. Lift up your heads, O ye gate, and be ye lifted up, All right. ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Pray for the choirs we minister tonight. He shall reign. Oh, he shall reign. Put your hands together if you know he reigns. Forevermore. Oh, he shall reign. He shall reign. But we're going to go back with something. Ah, right. uh, yes, Lord. Turn with me, if you really, if you would, very quickly, the book of Matthew, uh, book of Matthew, chapter 14. We're going to touch on something very quick. I told him I know the minister very well. He is not going to be before you long. He's going to be quick. 
but he's going to do what the Lord would have him to do. Uh, I am excited about the word tonight. Uh, it, is, it is one of those things that the Lord had, had dropped in my spirit, giving honor to the president of the young people. Amen. A man of God who the Lord has given a vision. And he is fulfilling what the Lord has given him. And I know it's not easy. It's not supposed to be if God calls you to do it. We look forward to what the Lord is doing. Matthew chapter 14, verse 22. And I'm going to do some spot reading, and then we're going to jump down and move some things, and then we're going to get out of the way. Mm -hmm. Matthew chapter 14, verse 22. Uh, straightway, Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship and to go before him unto the other side while he sent the multitude away. This is very interesting. This is very interesting. And when he had sent the multitude away, he went up into the mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with great waves, for the wind was contrary. I'm going to ask that you would drop down with me to verse number 28. And Peter answered, and said, uh, Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it, bid thou, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. And he said, come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw hmm, the wind was boisterous, he was afraid, and being, beginning and beginning to sink. He cried, Lord, save me. We're going to take our scripture text. Bear with me here. Yes, 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 yes. We're going to take our scripture text from uh, verse number 23. And when he had sent the multitude away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. I'm sorry, verse number 24. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea. Let's pray. Lord, we need you to bless us. Lord, we need your word. Lord, it is not enough just to hear the voice of man, but we need to hear your voice. Lord, we need your word to touch our hearts today because we have a real enemy to fight. We have real things that we're encountering. But Lord, we know your word can destroy every yoke. I thank you, Lord, for the anointing that you have already laid upon your people. I ask you, Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah, that you would stir it up. Yay, hallelujah, hallelujah. Stir up your word inside of us, Lord. Let us mix it with faith so that we can be productive and give you get the praise, the glory, and the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Uh, when I ask you, I'm not a very much a touch your neighbor kind of guy, but I am going to ask you to touch your neighbor. <laughs> uh, tell them I'm in the middle of something. I'm in the middle of, I'm in the middle of something. I'm in the middle of something. Hats, six young men, knock on my front door. Say, we want your sons. All of them with hoodies. Every one of them not showing their hands. And I'm saying, you want what? Because I already told the ones that was throwing up the gang signs on my sons. I said, y'all, y'all, y'all showing it to the wrong folks. Because that ain't gonna happen. That's exactly what I told them. This time they knocked on the door. And they said, we want that one. So for what? Because of what he said. And it offended me. And he said, we're going to get it. We're going to get him. I said, it took all y'all to come down here 
for that one boy. And they said, well, we didn't want it to be unfair. So we were going to take each one. And then we were going to sit back and not let nobody else jump in. I said, that is not going to happen. Deep parts in your day. My first inkling. My first inkling <laughs> was to handle my business. But then in the deep part of my conversation, because I started walking towards him, the Lord began to influence me. And he began to move. Hallelujah. Now you, think, you may think you got it in you, but that's the reason why the Holy Ghost That's the reason why the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost has to come over you. You think that someone's in the Holy Ghost for shouting, run up and I tell you what, I can run up and down here. But in that situation, I need Jesus. In your teapot, you need Jesus. The one young man kept pacing back and forth. Pacing back and forth like a cage animal. Said, I want him. You don't understand what he did to me. Then he began to go on about some stories about how he would fight his brother and he would do all of this. And then my son began to tell me stories later that how he fights his father and wins. And he's sitting there and he's pacing. And he wants my son and he's sitting there and pacing. And the influence of the Lord came over me. And as I go up to him, what I really wanted to go up to him was snatch him up. But the Lord came as I went up to him. I ended up drawing back a little bit further. And then I went up to him a little bit further and I began to draw back a little bit further. And then what I ended up doing is I ended up sitting down. But I realized in the midst of it, the Lord was having his way. Because a soft answer was turning away wrath. In the midst of this, he began to say some things saying about this the other boys started talking and I said come on in out of the street come on in out of the street come on closer man I ain't gonna hurt you and then they became closer and as they came closer they began to talk a little bit more one boy left they began to talk a little bit more I said son what's your name he didn't answer me then that's what somebody said I said say come here son I shook his hand I didn't punch him I shook his hand and I pulled him close I said it's all right son and in the midst of it I began to talk to the other ones. The Lord has a way of putting his spirit inside of you so you can handle the deepest parts of your this ain't just religion this is the move of the spirit of God real time. So we sit there and I began to talk to the boy. And then after we got done talking to the boy, I said, it's going to be all right. And I said, everything good? He said, yeah, we're good. I said, we good? He said, yeah, we good.